your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. We're tracking another day with lots of sunshine on the way. We're going to warm up as we wrap up this week and begin the weekend. We're going to stay dry over the next several days as well. Temperatures after Saturday are going to begin to drop. So much so that by early next week, we may use the F word. Frost. It's a possibility as we get into early next week. This morning's temperatures are a little warmer than where we were yesterday. 43 in Terre Haute, 48 in Robinson, 47 in Paris this morning as we begin the day. Quiet weather across our area continues. High pressure continues to dominate the Midwest. And down to the south in Florida, all eyes across the country are focused on Milton. Milton is going to continue to churn its way toward that Gulf Coast of Florida. And again, you can see that eye is very clearly defined with this hurricane. Already seen energy off ahead of this impacting that coastal area, but the main storm situated still down to the south and to the west of the state of Florida. This thing gaining strength again in the overnight after some wind shear and crossing the Yucatan Peninsula, there was a little shearing that downgraded it a little bit yesterday, but it's right back over those warm waters and sustained winds are up to 160 miles per hour. This thing is going to take aim on the Florida coast and they think maybe a strong category three or a weak category four potato potato. It is going to have a big impact as it crosses the state and stays at a category one, even as it gets over to the Atlantic side. So the impacts will be great and the winds will be strong. As this thing comes in later tonight in the overnight hours, these are sustained winds, not wind gusts of up to 120 miles per hour, but sustained winds of 57 miles per hour in Fort Myers, 82 mile per hour winds in Tampa. There will be power outages, I am certain across much of the state. Even as this thing crosses over tomorrow afternoon, we're still talking about sustained winds on that Atlantic side of around 50 miles per hour. So again, crossing this state, Florida is a skinny state by perspective. 100 miles across means this doesn't have a lot of land to work with, so it will weaken, but it will still be strong enough to have its impact on the Atlantic side too. Closer to home, we are going to have that sunshine stick around. Now by the weekend on Saturday night, there's a little frontal boundary that's going to come through. Models are starting to say maybe a little rain Saturday night. I don't know. Not super impressed with the chances, but behind that front, let me tell you what. Temperatures are going to change noticeably. We're going to warm through the end of the week. We'll be warm by the weekend, but then this cool shot of air is coming our way and Monday and Tuesday. Again, I said there could be some patchy frost Tuesday morning. It's going to be that cold. 74 sunny today. Overnight lows tonight down into the 40s again by tomorrow morning. Then we'll warm up greatly Friday and Saturday. We're going to look at those 80s and then by Sunday, drop those temperatures. Look at Tuesday, maybe only a high of 59 degrees after a morning low of 37 in some of our outlying areas. That could mean patchy frost by Tuesday morning. Too soon to say that for sure, but <laughs> David, your face.